Hello and welcome to FavoritePerm.com. My name is Joe Cortez, former international boxing referee. Coming up in the next couple of weeks, we have a lot of things cooking. It's been freezing out here in the West Coast, East Coast, South. It's been freezing all over. I was up in Connecticut a couple of weeks ago, and it was 10 below zero with the wind chill factor. I mean, it was freezing like never before. We never experienced this kind of weather. But let me tell you one thing, things are heating up in boxing. Things are really getting nice and hot. So March 1st, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. versus Brian Vera. The rematch that everybody's been waiting for because everybody felt that Julio Cesar Chavez, who didn't look too great in the first match, got a gift, a early gift before Christmas. And you know what? He's going to try to prove to the whole world that that was an off night for him. He's going to show the fans what he really has. It's going to be tough to try to reach the level of his father, the legendary Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. But uh, Julio Cesar Jr. feels like uh, he can do something and he's going to prove he can beat Brian Vera and let's see what he's got. It's not going to be an easy fight, but he promised me himself that he's going to see a new uh, junior out there. He's going to come, be coming out with that jab, more, more constant jabs out there, more combinations. He's going to be moving ahead a lot more. So, well, I'm looking forward to see what he's got to offer to Brian Vera. And the fans, of course, will be uh, very pleased to see him back on track because he has a great uh, fan base. So let's see what happens because March 1st. A week later, right after that, you have a great fight. Uh, Alfredo Angulo versus Canelo Alvarez. That's going to be a great match because these two guys are like two locomotives coming at each other. But uh, me, the I referee, both fighters in the past, but Canelo Alvarez, I can tell you, he's a lot slicker when it comes to uh, boxing techniques. Angulo comes in wide open. Angulo is going to take a lot of punches from... Uh, uh, Canelo, Canelo is going to uh, really hit him with some wicked left hooks, great body puncher that Canelo is, and the right hands. I can see this fight maybe going three or four rounds, Canelo Alvarez probably end up stopping Angulo. Angulo's a great guy, very, very personable, but uh, I think he's going to be over his head in this match. I was talking the other day to some friends about a story about the great very Randolph Sugar. Randolph Sugar with the fedora and the cigar. Burt Sugar is a, it was a legendary uh, columnist. He did a lot for boxing and he knew his boxing. He was a boxer historian. He passed away 2012. Great friend. I remember seeing him at the Boxing Hall of Fame. Comes out with his flashy pinstripe pants or multicolored pants with his fedora and his cigar. He's always talking and knows his boxing, knows his boxing inside out. And people used to always say, does Bert Sugar always wear the hat? He always wears the hat. Even when he plays the national anthem, he doesn't take the hat I mean, completely off. He just like holds it up like this, you know? And one day, there was this uh, reporter named Dick Young, great reporter, passed away many years ago. And uh, he was a friend of uh, Randy Gordon, who was a former a commentator for ESPN and was a New York commissioner, boxing commissioner, Randy Gordon uh, and Bert were great friends. And Bert was at Randy's house one day and uh, who comes to the door? Dick Young knocking on the door. Bert Sugar is in the shower, taking a shower. So he runs to the shower and tells uh, 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 Randolph Sugar, Bert Sugar, Bert, Dick Young is at the door. That's a reporter. You told him that you never take your hat off. He said, I'll fix this right up. So Bert Sugar comes out, he, puts, he had his hat on, his cigar, he looks at the Pico and says, oh, Dick Young. So he opens the door, Dick Young looks at him, up and down, guy was bare naked. He had his hat on and his cigar, you know what I mean? So when the column, Dick Young said, Bert Sugar always has his hat on. So I thought that was a little funny little clip about uh, Burst Sugar, but he rests in peace, but uh, he's a great boxing historian, and uh, we, we t we'll miss him, especially at the Hall of Fame. This year we have a great uh, induction coming up. We'll talk more about that later on, but the, the first Saturday, the first weekend of uh, June, Saturday they have the, the gala night, and Sunday is the induction. We hope to see a lot of you folks up there. I know I'll be up there. And my great friend Richard Steele will be inducted. Joe Kalzaki is going to be inducted. Uh, you have a bunch of uh, other 
inductees that's going to be very interesting, Felix Trinidad and Oscar De La Hoya. I mean, what, what a great weekend of uh, inductees. I remember when I got inducted in 2011, we had uh, Mike Tyson, Julio Cesar Chavez, Castro Zul, Sylvester Stallone, Nacho Berenstein, and myself. It was a great class, and I, we really had a lot of fun. The fans really came out for that weekend, and I believe that this weekend on uh, June 2014, we're going to have about the same type of a crowd because uh, I think they had over 10,000 fans throughout the weekend, especially, uh, you know, the, the, the signing, the autograph signing, uh, the, during the day, the, all the speeches that are made by the uh, inductees. It's going to be a lot of fun, and having Julio Cesar Chavez with us again, hopefully he'll be there with the uh, induction because he told me he want to be there with that same class just to shake hands with them and with the fans. So we should have a great weekend of uh, boxing induction and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm trying to make it up there. Now, uh, Friday night fights are staying pretty active. We can see a lot of young talent coming up. You know, one of the things that happened talking about Friday night fights, uh, a couple of uh, early for the first show, of uh, Friday Night Fights, um, uh, Mendez versus Mathelemy, uh, Francis uh, uh, Ransom uh, Mathelemy knocked out uh, Mendez with uh, two punches after the bell. We knocked him out with those two punches, and you know, they call it a controversial ending because the positioning of the referee, uh, he was not right in the middle when the bell sounded, so by him being a little bit on the outside, but by the time the bell rung, by the time he, get, he tried to get in, the two punches were landed. Mendes gets knocked out, and uh, Mendes was the world champion, loses his title that night because of, that's the way the referee ruled it. He, he just saw two punches definitely came after the bell. He counted out Mendes. Now, uh, if the referee would have made a different call, like let's say he would have said, uh, time, the punches came after the bell, and the fighter was unable to continue, then the fight would have been called uh, a no decision. But being that the referee went with the call, he kept on with the count, and then he realized uh, it was too late to stop, so uh, they had a controversial ending. Mike Tyson's, that was Mike Tyson's fighter. Mike Tyson got upset, and a lot of fans got upset, but uh, in boxing, these things happened. It was not an intentional foul. It was kind of like, you can't say really, uh, it, it's borderline because, you know, a fighter has a, has a responsibility to listen to that bell. When, you talk, when the bell sounds, you got to stop throwing punches. And, you know, you know the fight's coming, the round's coming to an end. He just can't continue to keep throwing those punches. But he threw those punches and uh, he landed them and uh, the fight was given to Bethelemy uh, as a world champion. Well, they overturned that decision. Last week, the IBF declared that it was called a no decision, but with a rematch within 90 days. So Mendes retains his championship. He was outclassed in the first round, was taking a pounding in the second round. In the rematch, he got to show something different than when he showed the first fight, because if he doesn't, it'll be a repeat of the first fight. With that said, guys, we'll talk to you next week. Take care. God bless.